Hi everyone, my name is Kes and I collect and today I look like a vampire. I know it's not Halloween yet, but let's be honest, on this channel it's always Halloween. But I'm not dressed like a vampire for nothing because today I'm going to do a review of the Dracula's Collector doll. I received her a couple of days ago and I was waiting for the moment when I had time to actually do a review of her. This is gonna be the first review with my new camera so I'm really excited to try it out. I'm really excited. I bought two, one for me and one for my friend because she wasn't able to get her and I always want to buy two so I at least can make someone else happy too. And we both got a perfect looking one. I was trying to compare them and see flaws but it was impossible. Maybe one of them had a little loose button but other than that it was flawless. So I was really lucky to get two really good ones. Doesn't she look perfect? Also, in case you didn't know, red, black, and white are my favorite colors, even though I know black and white aren't technically colors. So to have this doll is very aesthetically pleasing to me. You don't understand. I've waited a couple of days, <laughs> stared at her in her box because I wanted to do a review and I didn't want to, you know, I had to keep her in the box. Anyways, I can't wait to review her, so let's get into it. Let's start with the box. The box is a matte black color and it has these shiny bats in the front. You can see Dracula in the front posing and it says Dracula in red letters. In the right bottom it says from the makers of Monster High's Collector and it says 18 plus on the left bottom and Mattel on the top right. On one side it says Dracula in the same red letters as in the front. And on the other side, you can see a photograph of Dracula. The back of the box has the same shimmery bats on the top. And you can see a full moon as well. It says Dracula again in the same red letters. And underneath it says Dracula doll. I am Dracula. I bid you welcome. I hope that you found the carriage ride comfortable. The driver can be a bit fatty. I trust that you kept your coming here a secret. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, my cape? This old thing, paired with these spooky stilouettes. The whole look is absolutely to die for, don't you agree? Please excuse the mess. I think you will find this part of my castle much more inviting for having a bite or two. Oh, listen to the children of the night. What music they make for our special guest. Allow me to pour you a glass of wine. Oh, I never drink wine. You could say I prefer a different type of vein. Uh, I mean vine. No drink. I would hate for my meal, uh, forgive me, your meal to grow cold. And on the bottom right, it says from the makers of Monster Eyes Collector again. Once you open the two little cardboard pieces, Dracula is revealed. You can see that she's in an old castle with lots of spider webs. And the web says the spider is spinning his web for the unwary fly. And you can see a coffin too. And on the other side you can see a window busted open by a tree while the full moon is shining in the background and a candle is standing on the bottom. Now let's take her out of the first part of the box. Once you take the box off you can see a little bit more of her details. In the back it says in spider webs, I am Dracula, I bid you welcome. And you can see three cardboard bats hanging from the ceiling. You can also see she's posed next to another bat, which could be her bat form or just a random bat. And she is posed with a candle in her hand. Now let's take her out of the box completely so we can get into the details. So here is Dracula out of the box. She comes with a black stand, does not come with a brush, has a candle with a candle holder, and she comes with a bat. And even a little stand for the bat. She has a regular Monster High Gen 1 body, with clawed hands like Claudine. She has a gray skin tone. Some people compared her face to the create a monster vampire, but their noses are different, which makes me think it is a new face sculpt. She has long black hair and it has a little ponytail in the front. She is wearing this bat crown. It has a bat face in the middle and the two wings spread it on the sides. She has black angry looking eyebrows, silver eyeshadow on top and red eyeshadow on the bottom. She has red eyes and her eyes are looking forward instead of looking sideways like the last couple of Skeletor dolls. She has red lipstick and of course vampire fangs. Her ears are pointy and they do not have holes for earrings. 
She is wearing a black velvet suit jacket with some shiny fabric details. And the bottom of her sleeves have this shiny material. The back of her suit has these two little split pieces which look like bad wings. She has a white collar and it has a red ribbon around it with a medallion. You can see that the medallion is tied in the back and you can take it off. And a white blouse underneath. Once you take off her jacket, there's this plastic layer protecting her arms. The blouse and the pants are attached to each other, but from the front you can't really tell. And of course, the cape. The cape is attached to the jacket and it has this very interesting shape at the front. It has red details on the inside and spider webs too. Two little elastic bands so she can hold her cape and pose with it. And the back of the cape is just black. Her pants are made of the same black velvet material. And at the bottom of her pants, you can see this plastic protective layer. The front of the shoes are red and have a bat in the front with its wings wrapped around her feet. The bottom of her shoe has this castle vibe going on in completely black. And her heels are coffins that actually open. And once you open the heel, you can see Dracula laying inside. She also comes with a black flying bat with red eyes. And he comes with this extra clear plastic piece that she can put over the regular Monster High stand so it looks like he's flying. And she also comes with a dripping candle on a golden snake holder. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope everyone liked it and I see you guys in my next video. Bye!